Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Now, I don't know if I turned the camera on a little too early, so I don't know if you caught the first part of the hello, but you are, everyone's welcome. All are welcome, and thank you for uh, tuning in, for checking in uh, for this newest review. We are outside once again, we are here, we have ventured into the wilderness, the great unknown, on a rather pleasant day. You know, it's a little cloudy, a little overcast, but I always like those days because it's not oppressingly hot. Um, it's easier on the eyes. It's just, it's a pleasant day. You can tell the wildlife is happy. They're out there making their noise. You have some traffic. No annoying music yet. Last time I was out here, there was. We're going to keep our fingers crossed, but if there is, we're going to make lemonade out of those lemons and, uh, We'll have a music session. I'm just gonna I'm gonna jam out to it this time if that happens. But either way, um, we're trying out Arby's. You know, this is the first review that I have done for any sort of Arby's item for a long time, and I'll tell you why. It, it's not like I have um, any sort of uh, adversity toward you know Arby's. It's not like oh I hate Arby's. I'm never gonna try that disgusting Arby's or anything like that, because I don't hate Arby's. As a matter of fact, I have a couple items from there that I like. Uh, it's just that, in the past, there were so many things that were getting released by other places, Arby's just wasn't high on that list of uh, things to prioritize. But now, with everything still going on, with places not releasing anything, Arby's is one of the only, probably if not in, aside from Burger King, really, uh, one of the only places that is actually releasing new menu items uh, in this day. So, uh, we're trying them out. They have a new one out, a new sandwich, well, fairly new, but you know what I mean. On uh, this big day today, I'm going with my space shuttle tie also for the big rocket launch that uh, will hopefully be a big, uh, big success later today. So I'm just fueling up first on some Arby's. Uh, specifically, their new Cheddar Chicken Ranch Sandwich. That's what it's called, a Cheddar Chicken Ranch Sandwich. On their website, they say, quote, it has everything, right? So everything, good, bad, you know, if it's got everything, it's got some feathers from that bird that's making noise in the background, it's got a little scrap of this paper, it's got one of my eyelashes, you know, it has everything. Boy, that was, a, that was one of the worst jokes I've done in a while. No, it doesn't, it doesn't have everything. Everything in the metaphorical sense, mind you. Um, but here's what it does have. It has, as they described verbatim, a sharp cheddar cheese slice. So none of that dull cheddar cheese. Um, none of that, you know, semi-sharp. I mean, sharp. Sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp, you know. Um, it also has a Parmesan pepper ranch sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, chicken strips, and a bun. So, again, uh, it's a cheddar chicken ranch sandwich. It's supposed to have, again, your crispy chicken strips. Um, it has a special peppercorn ranch sauce, a slice of cheddar cheese, and on your sesame seed bun. It was affordable. It was $4 for the sandwich, which is a pretty good deal. Got it to go in the Arby's bag. And there I am with it, um, with my Arby's... Uh, I'm not very good with my knowledge of uh, Western hats. I don't know, is that a Stetson, or is that a 10-gallon hat, or what type of hat is that? I, I just call it the Arby's hat. But um, we got that. Meat craft, right? Meat craft, they got the meats. They're crafting things with them. Meat craft, right? Turkey, chicken, roast beef, bacon, corned beef, and ham. Those are their wares that they list uh, right there, right? Which you can see. Um, well, why not? We have some time to kill. They have the little, you know, Arby's inscription right there. Uh, sure, it may start with the promise of a perfect sandwich, but for us, it goes beyond that. It's a matter of pride, and I guess it looks like they're just going off of why, you know, they feel they do a good job. Let's get the goods out. Here it is. Arby's box. Right there. More meat craft, some crafted meat concoctions. And there it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what this is looking like. There you go, you see it's got two chicken strips on it. You can see the lettuce, tomato, and a big cheddar cheese slice. And at the bottom right there, that's where the ranch sauce is, okay? There you go. Wow, that is, that is like a giant slice of that cheese right there. They're not kidding when they say cheddar, so that's what it's got. 
Um, yeah, look at that. that. I could probably fold it up, put it in my suit pocket, make it like a, like a cheddar cheese pocket square. I wouldn't do that, but you could if you wanted to. And you got your crispy chicken strips. So, that's what it looks like. That's what it is. Pretty straightforward. Chicken sandwich with, um, yeah, cheddar cheese and uh, a special, you know, Parmesan pepper ranch sauce. $3.99 seems like it's a pretty good deal, so uh, we're just going to try it out. We'll let you know uh, what it tastes like. And there you have it. Cheddar chicken ranch sandwich from Arby's. It is going in. Meat craft. See the bird? Well, there you see what it looks like. Um, what I might do a little later is uh, cut it in half for a cross section. Here's what we got. With every sandwich, there's various components. You know, you got certain things that, um, that make the sandwich. You got certain things that give it its character, um, you know, put it to that next level. And then you get the ingredients that are just like, meh, it's, it's, it's there, you know? It's not like, this is what makes it, like this is what I'm raving about or anything. If I were to describe the sandwich right now, I would say it's average. It's average in so much that what I, I mean, I'll finish it, yeah, sure. Um, doesn't bother me any. But it's not something that I'll be revisiting and being like, oh man, I nev I'll never forget the time I had my first cheddar chicken ranch sandwich from Arby's. Yeah, it was back in the uh, late spring of 20, right? And, you know, I'll be talking about this in, like, 2050 or something, and, uh, still talking about it. No, it's not, it's not at that level. It's like, this is, okay, it meets the expectation, but there's not much to rave about. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, where it's like, okay, the sesame seed bun, for instance, is, uh, you know, it's just there. It just holds it together, right? It does its job, but it's not like it's something that, oh, yeah, you know, I'll never forget that. The chicken itself is crispy, but it's a little on the dry side. That's what I noticed. It has a nice crisp to it, and I could taste a little bit of that black pepper that's in the, in the um, breading of it. It's got a nice crunch to it, but it's a little on the dry side. I just noticed this dryness to it. The cheddar cheese is very, is very flavorful. It's very potent. You can definitely taste that cheddar cheese, but again, it's not like there's much moisture to it. So you taste the cheddar cheese, and you taste the chicken, but there's this persistent dryness to it. The lettuce and tomato is kind of just there. So, the one thing that it relies on is that Parmesan pepper ranch sauce. Now, the ranch sauce does a good job um, because it gives it that little extra kick. And I could definitely taste the Parmesan that's in uh, that ranch sauce. But I really like that little bit of a, a little bit of a boost, almost a little bit of a tang that the ranch sauce adds to it because that's what this sandwich absolutely needs. If it didn't have that ranch sauce, it would be like, uh, this isn't good. It's just too dry. It's just too bland. So it's very, very reliant on that ranch sauce. So any bite that you take that has that ranch sauce in it, okay, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, takes it up to that next level. But otherwise, it's a very basic, if not mediocre, sandwich. Um, so definitely, if you get it, make sure you get that ranch sauce on it. And the truth be told, because it's a very dry sandwich otherwise, um, even though I myself don't really like things that are totally slathered in the sauce, I might not even hesitate, if I were you, to ask for extra sauce on it, because it's one of those sandwiches where the sauce is what is essential. 
that if you want it to taste good, if you want it to be good, if you want it to be on that, uh, that level that you expect it to be on, it needs the sauce. And I would say like this one, for instance, that I got, needs even a little more of it. Every bite that has the sauce is good, and that's what ties everything together. But there were a few bites that I had at first that didn't have any sauce, and it was just extremely dry. So, um, heck, if I were you, you know, again, I might just get it with a little bit of extra, extra sauce, you know? That's just what I would, um, consider, you know? That's my recommendation to you. Now, price-wise, again, it was $3.99, which is, uh, still pretty decent. I wanted to cut it in half just so you could get a proper cross-section of it, um, which you can see right there. Um, again, though, you can see there's not a ton of sauce on it, and that's why it needs a little bit more. Like, you can see the chicken right there isn't teeming with any sort of juice, so that's why I just think it needs a little bit more sauce for, um, for what it is. But overall, it's at a good price. I'm glad it has that sauce, which does make it. And again, it's not the best thing I've had, not the worst thing that I've had. So, um, out of 10, I, I'm gonna give it a uh, 5.9 out of 10. That's a 5.9. On this scale, 5 is average, so, you know, slightly above average, just because of that sauce. But again, it's more of like a middle-of-the-road type sandwich. I don't hate it. I can't say that I love it either. But uh, certainly, again, I'll finish this. This will be my meal for the day. And, um, you know, it's not like I'll be punishing myself by eating this or something. So that's all that we got for you. Today's review is for the Cheddar Chicken Ranch Sandwich from Arby's. Closing sip of water right here. There we go. And um, in the meantime, if you want something else to watch, something else to check out, uh, I do have a brand new podcast up. It's three hours of talk, something to chill out to, something to relax to. Um, give it a listen. You can find it youtube.com slash v-o-r-w podcast. You can find it on Spotify or iTunes or any other pod pla podcast platform by searching v-o-r-w. So uh, check it out. It's brand new. It's done for you guys. And uh, give it a listen. And uh, remember, shows like that, they wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash the report of the week fun community and it just helps keep everything going so uh thank you to thank you so much to everyone who's joined that as well all this is possible thanks to you guys all right with that thank you take care and uh please be safe and healthy i'm your host the report of the week